Hello, this is DJ B. Today I'm going to teach you how to repaint a model horse to a dappled bay. This technique is going to use a combination of airbrush and pure pigment. You can substitute different processes for the supplies that you have, but these are the tools that I'm going to be using. So first you want to start with a primed model that's ready for paint and get a good reference image of the color that you want to achieve. The colors I'm going to be using are golden high flow acrylics, titanium buff, raw sienna, burnt sienna, and raw umber. The airbrush that I'm going to be using is the Iwata Eclipse, and I'll be spraying at a PSI of about 40. So we're gonna start with the titanium buff, and I always test out my airbrush color before I start spraying the model, either on my hand or a piece of paper laid down. The buff is just to ease the white primer, so you're gonna to wanna to just cover the model completely in this color. So once that is complete, you gotta clean out that airbrush. I use Iwata Airbrush Cleaner, and I spray into a cleaning pot. Next we're going to take the raw sienna and we're going to be spraying this in a more strategic pattern over the shoulders and the top line of the horse, keeping in mind that this is also a base coat layer so you want to go over some of that titanium buff but you do want to leave some of that lighter color underneath as it will make a more dynamic coat color when the whole model is complete highlighting those dark points with the most rich color, leaving areas such as the flank, the lower neck, um, the top of the face, and not worrying about the legs at this point. Clean out that airbrush, check your reference. The next coat we're going to be using is Burnt Sienna. Being more mindful this time as these are some of the finishing layers, we only have two more layers to go on this horse. You want to make sure that you get nice rich shading. Um, this is kind of the red tinge to the bay. It's going to add an extra level of dynamic shading underneath the final brown color that we're going to use. So this is really going to pop when the model hits a certain light. I like to go down the front of the face as well with a fairly dark shade. I keep the back, shoulders, and rump quite dark. So it's looking nice so far. The last color that we're going to use for the airbrush is the raw umber. This is kind of the final brown overlay of the model that's going to make it look bay rather than orange. Spraying this in all those dark areas and really getting that rich tone and kind of spraying so that those base colors still poke through but the main horse looks less red because he's very orange right now. Being really mindful of the muscle structure and where the shading should be. So once that's complete, we look like we have the start to a really nice bay. For the legs, um, you can either use an airbrush or paint them off. So I start with Windsor and Newton Mars Black to take a dab of that and really water it down. And then we're just going to paint on the legs of this model. We're going to put pigment over top of it later. We're also going to um, take this black and add it to the muzzle and around the eyes and the ear tips, working very delicately to create a nice base coat. So once that is all dry and done, we're ready to pull out the pure pigment Demco Artist Series in ivory black and start the dappling process. I'm going to take a square brush and just kind of brush this on in the areas that I want it. So down those legs that we base coated as well as over the shoulders and a bit over the belly, into the face, over the butt. So you want these to be the darkest area of the bay. Um, following your reference, it helps as well, but keep in mind that you don't want the entire horse to be black. This is just where the dapples are going to poke through. So wherever you put pastel is where you can dapple off of. Make sure to do the groin area as well with that black color. Then I'm going to hold the model carefully in a towel. I'm going to use this pointy q-tip to go around the eyes and the muzzle and the ear tips of this horse and making sure not to touch any of the pastel I just laid down to create kind of a softer edge 
on those acrylic base. Now we're going to start the dappling process with a kneaded eraser, a normal graphite kneaded eraser. Bend it down into a point and you're just going to proceed to pull up the pigment that you laid down on the body of the model in a dappled pattern. It's a very good idea to use reference and make sure that you're staying in scale, so keeping those dapples nice and small. If you mess up, you can add more pastel over top to just work really slowly. It takes a long time to do this, about an hour for the entire dappled coat, and this horse is not very big, so be patient and careful. Just add a bit more to the legs, make sure that the coat is all ready. Want to make sure everything is perfect before you seal the model. So then I'm going to take my Americana um, matte sealer, make sure that it is matte, whatever sealer you use. And I'm going to go outside because it's the most ventilated area. And I'm just going to spray the model like this, you know, a couple feet away from it. And getting all angles, all sides, the fronts, the back, the underneath to lock in that pure pigment that we used. Here you can see me flipping the grip of the model, proceeding with a good coat of spray. Ta-da! So now you have your final horse, and that is how I created this beautiful bay. Proceed on and add the finishing touches, such as the eyes, the mane, and the hooves, um, but those are separate videos. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and keep on creating.